Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. So thank you so much for stopping by. Special thanks to my channel members for helping support this channel through difficult times. I'm not sure if my voice sounds weird. It sounds weird to me right now, but I just got a haircut. I've been gone for a really long time. This is the first time I filmed in a couple of weeks because my dog passed away and then I got really sick for like two weeks. It's just a cold though, but I don't know why this cold is hitting me so hard. So I did get a haircut. My hair was pretty long earlier. Um, I was growing it out for my wedding, but because we are postponing my wedding for a couple extra months, I decided to just chop my hair because it wasn't curling properly. And I think, I think it's a two-parter. Some of that had to do with the fact that it was so long. I think the weight of it kind of pulls down the curls a little bit. And also, more importantly, I did have a lot of heat damage. So I was straining my hair back in March and April constantly in order to film because I feel more comfortable filming with straight hair. I feel like my videos, I can... Um, make them faster when I have straight hair versus curly hair um, Like today. I didn't really want to sit down and film even though I do like it This is an improvement. I mean, it's a little frizzy because I slept on it I slept with my hair wet which I know you're not supposed to do but sometimes that's all I can do given the way my schedule is But I did decide to chop my hair and it is quite short. My mom hates it But I'm really happy with it because my curls are back. They were instantly back the second she cut them They sprang back to life now I am gonna make sure not to touch my hair anymore because I do want it to be long for my wedding. I'm wearing my hair half up, half down because entirely updos don't look good on me for some reason. You know how they say the camera adds 10 pounds? For me, tying my hair up adds 10 pounds like instantly. I just don't think it's very flattering. I don't think I can pull off updos, so you'll never see me in an updo unless I'm like working, in which case I do pull my hair all the way up. But that doesn't really count because I'm a mess anyway while I'm working when it comes to animals and it can be really gross. But now I'm going to actually start doing a hair routine video so that we can kind of see the difference because I stopped wanting to review products because they weren't looking good on my hair and I knew it wasn't the product, it was my hair. So now I'm going to be doing some hair routine videos. I use a lot of products so it's hard sometimes to do a hair routine video because I'm constantly testing new things out. Like lately I've been testing out the Eva NYC 10-in-1 split end mender right and then i'm also testing out stuff from family dollar i i test out a lot of things so doing hair routine videos are is hard because i don't just stick to a set number of products so so we're probably gonna have a couple different routines coming up within the next couple of weeks as well as hair care reviews for those products for some other stuff that i'm waiting for if you have any requests for specific products that you would like me to review let me know down below but yeah i'm excited my curls are back i'm not straightening my hair at all even though it's super tempting i mean right now we're in the summer heat let me know how it is at your state wherever you're living in because it has been super intense 90 degree weather 100 degree weather and i absolutely hate it and it made me so uncomfortable because of my cold. So I don't really like obviously straining my hair during those months because it's instantly gonna become curly again. So I will be leaving my hair curly even up until winter, hopefully, because I want it to be as long as possible for the wedding. Basically the length that I had before I cut my hair. But the reason I did it was, like I said, the curls were just driving me crazy. But yeah, now we can see the difference that a haircut really makes to your hair because it was just so wavy and I guess it's not a problem per se to have wavy hair or for my hair to look wavier than it does curly I just wasn't sure if it was the length causing it or if it was the damage or probably a combination of both but now we can really put it to the test and see what's gonna happen with all of that for my hair today I used the Briogeo smoothing shampoo I reviewed it a couple years ago I still have a bunch left so I'm trying to use that up because because some shampoos do have an expiration date and I've, I've seen recently in my collection some products that have definitely um, expired and smell different and smell weird. So now there's even more of a rush for me to use up everything that's been a little bit older in my collection. Um, so I did use that on my hair and then I used the Eva NYC conditioner as well as some of the primer. Even though I didn't heat style my hair, I just like this because it kind of tames the frizz a little bit. So that's what I've been using so far for today's video. But like I said, we're going to do some hair routines. I just wanted to give a little bit of an update. Also, I figured I'd put it in here. I am changing the number of uploads I have per week on this channel. I think we're going to go down to two. Worst case scenario, one. But I think I can do two. Because I am having different hours at my job now. And I'm not really sure how my weekends are going to look in order to film. Usually I pre-film a bunch of videos throughout the whole entire week. And like I said before, I had two weeks where I wasn't filming anything. Because Max passed away. 
and then I got really sick and haven't had a summer cold in so long and then I wasn't sick for like two years and I got sick and it really hit me really hard I was a total baby if you follow me on Instagram you know what I'm talking about but it's just been hard and I'm feeling a lot better but I feel like I don't sound better so we'll see how my voice sounds as I'm editing this video because I'm on day five at this point I think so now I'm kind of starting to get the cough um, which I don't really mind. I feel like stuffy noses is more uncomfortable than a cough, but whatever. Anyway, I think that's it for this video. I'm a little bit rambly, but if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I've also added a lot of new merch designs to my merch shop, my Redbubble shop down below. Let me know if there's a specific design that you're looking for. Um, I'm always trying to create new things or outsource new designs. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I know I already said that, but thank you so much for stopping by. The lighting is changing and I'm and we'll see you next time. Bye.